Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Mech and Mech. In the last episode, we changed Alice's heart and returned her the desires to everyone she stole them from. Now we've got to figure out what's going to happen in this certain filming TV studio. Movement. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes. I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. <laughs> Miss Alice... And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? No, this is just standard confession after a change of heart. I, it's a lot faster than the usual ones, I'll give that, and I'm now actually slightly worried that my audio is getting a gl glitchy. Oh dear, I hope it's just in my headset and not in the actual recording. All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me, but then I'd lash out at them too, and, and I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... it hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... Uh, the Phantom Thieves? Deja vu. I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! Dump the standby! They say this like it's not going to be a fantastic hit in bo boost to their viewings. Alice. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of, I want my money back. Well, you we sure can't help him there. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others, even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. You snoop. This Stop. is why you aren't allowed to curry you, anymore. Ah, you again, Gramps? Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Well, yeah, but wait, if, it's not like... He says don't play stupid, but if we just said, yeah, we did do a good job, thanks, then that's just basically giving him a loaded gun. Uh, yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. 
We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. Darn it. He is good. Sleazy, but good. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the Phantom Thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? No, because we didn't know about all those other change of hearts. We only just found out about Alice. What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. <laughs> Oh man, it looks like there should be a scene there, but this is how I've always felt it, so... <laughs> the idea of, Mac, if I wanted to, I could cuff you in and take you in right, right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. True perpetrator, huh? As in, the person controlling Alice behind the scenes. The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. The problem is that the methods are just as untraceable, so we can't prove or disprove who it, that it isn't us. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now and this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. Gramps is sane, it's probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? Then what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? Uh, I mean, it's not that we've much of a choice here, but let's be proactive. Let's make the deal. I think that'd be wisest. No, wait. Even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? That is a good point. I, I was just about to wonder aloud what does he get out of it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. But, but the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're going to get some thick-headed cop to buy that? Take him in there? <sighs> it seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Wait, really? Mako-chan! Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. It's dangerous in the jail, but we should be able to protect one man. There doesn't seem to be another option. Might be in our best interest to accept the deal. 
All right, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. It's just as well that the jail didn't collapse, otherwise this would be far harder to do. I see. A jail full of shadows. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? Alright. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? I mean... How do you think Phantom Thieves steal hearts in the first place? If you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? Where to, exactly? Into the rings that go, whoa, 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 whoa. Like a bandicoot. So, are you gonna answer me, or...? What? What? What is... This... Isn't real. Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. I mean, technically it's not real, but it has a real enough effect, so... Yeah. Whoa. What happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Maybe you should get yourself tested for drugs then, if you're gonna be so snide about it. Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait, who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... What? Chill out, Zenkiji. You've got to keep yourself together. Well, I mean, I was about to say, it's interesting that Sophia had nothing to say about whether we should let Zenkiji in on the secret or not. And now he's going to have his attention drawn to Morgana and probably panic even more. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't be losing my shit like... Monster Cat! <laughs> I am not a monster cat! I am Morgana! Do you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just had to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. Be sure to warn him not to sign up for anything on Emma. Last thing we need is our own cop being taken over. The one friendly cop that we've been yet so far getting a brainwashing treatment from whatever monarch we're dealing with somewhere else. How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi! Huh? Oh, right. Right! Get it together. 
This cat said my name! Wait, are you that monster cat from that place? It's the monster cat! Oh boy, you're going to make Morgana blow a fuse before you finish blowing all yours. Not a monster, or a cat! I told you, I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. Yeah, basically, that's how we've been getting our. That's basically how people have been using changes of heart and. Well, that's not how we've been doing it, eh? but recently some less than savory people have found a way to hijack it as well. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. Also, you've got to get along with the talking cat. Oh, man. So he's really real, huh? <laughs> In that case, I'm gonna cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This will be quite the little trip for us. Part of me is wondering if it is actually the direct person or maybe an underling, a subordinate working hard to suck up to the boss. It could be that, but we don't know anything about this. A uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're going to want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. I mean, Alice was a fashion designer. It wouldn't surprise me if there were cases where the bosses have some sort of underworld influence. Or the ability to sick fans on us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But, if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry! Okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. Still trying not to blow fuses. And there's five points for our bond meter. Who knows what I'll buy with it next. Who knows when I'll get a chance to buy anything. An effing buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan, anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. 
but it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah, sushi for me. Phantom Road Trip time. Oh dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. So shouldn't we have told Senkichi, go investigate the people who built Emma? There's probably someone behind this whole thing? No? Just me? Okay. <laughs> What's Emma? It's like the Meta Nav. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Madiz. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts or something. <sighs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. Uh, I was about to say that the reason that we couldn't use it like Alice is, is probably because we're all Persona users, so Ryuji's pure of heart comment isn't that bad. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. Alice has a master version of it and everyone else has slave versions. It's just that slave versions don't work on Persona users? If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. Alright, next topic? The jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their rulers' cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so... We're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone if stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over? Aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage! Was that how it worked? Nah, there's my Phantom Thieves. Yeah, you said it. Great speech, Ladyon. You've got us all fired up! If that's the plan, maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right! We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? Hmm. 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 Uh, yes? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Ooh, check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. For real? By... Sent? 
Uh, scent might be the best uh, metaphor for how she figures it out. She might just have some sort of, you know, like a Geiger counter or something. A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... A trip to reform all society, a job for the Phantom Thieves, a great time with all you guys. Let's go for the top one. Hell yeah! <laughs> I am psyched! All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Who knows what it'll cost us? Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we could have deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Zenkichi already said no. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him! Yeah, let's only include him when we actually want something from him. Why not? Hmm. A ride that could fit all of you. Were you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. How it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Mm. Does this have business. anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes. Yes? Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So considerate. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are y'all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes, we all been saving up for summer vacation. Not me. I'm <laughs> broke because of it. all the persona fusing and all the equipment buying that I did in preparation for Alice. I'm completely tapped out. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah, we gotcha. Watch it turn out that Yusuke is actually fantastically wealthy now, and nobody's taking him seriously because he's still Yusuke and frugal about everything. A camper? This is turning into some kind of coming-of-age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually going to sleep in that thing together? No worries, the boys are all sleeping on the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. Uh, yeah. Uh, see? We're fine. These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. Nice scores, Kichi. Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration. Hmm? That was matches there up with what we know. The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So, she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires. Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. There is sort of the fact that, um... I mean, yeah, if you just noticed people suddenly becoming a lot more obedient to you, you'd probably piece it together quickly that it was the friend registration. She wouldn't need to know the specifics of... T out and it works to take advantage of it. Hmm? What in the hell? 
What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? There has to be some extra key to this that made Alice into a monarch. I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity, either her smartphone usage in general or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... Someone's keeping tabs on her? That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Oh, uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkichi said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. It would be nice if we could get a phone of a monarch before they, we uh, steal their heart or change their heart or whatever it is that we do. Just to double check that there isn't some sort of code that would delete itself if it detected that it wouldn't function anymore. Hey, you guys still together? Yep. Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Ooh. Yo. Well, here's your wheels. What? This is the camper? Whoa! It's like three times more badass than I expected. Beautiful. This retro design. So simple, yet so elegant. Thanks! Thanks, Sujiro. <laughs> it's awesome. Just make sure you don't wreck it. Mm -hmm. I found the make and model online. This is a Vulcan Retro Life. It has four beds and a rooftop tent. There are enough power outlets for everyone, as well as cooking appliances for any culinary needs. Oh. I couldn't have asked for anything better. That's our chief for you. Wow. I love the interior too. Yes, it reminds me of American diners in the 1950s. Hmm. I hope I can actually drive something this big. It's got its little quirks, but I'm sure you'll get used to them quick enough. Till then, though, make sure you drive carefully, okay? Uh. Uh, I guess you can't really park this here, can I? I'll move this to the nearest lot. You go finish your packing. That's true. Let's disband for now and regroup once we're ready to roll out. Please tell me that I'm going to have a chance to pause. Hey, hey! Good job getting back up for the trip. Anything else you think we'll need? Better go buy it now. Once we're all set, we should go say your know, goodbyes to the chief before heading out. Yo, dude! There's something I want to go before we head out. You should check it out too. I'll wait for you outside, so just let me know when you're ready. <laughs> oh, we actually do have quite a bit of cash. We might have time to visit our old haunts for a while. Ah, oh, darn, I guess... Oh well. Next time on Let's Play Persona 5 Strikers, we see what Ryuji wants. Until then, guys, take care.
See you all around. Hmm. <laughs>